Hello YouTube. Today is not your regularly scheduled programming. I'd like to address an issue that I think concerns the very sanctity and continued enjoyment of our way of life here in the United States and possibly worldwide. That is the matter of tomorrow's presidential election. I know that this isn't a particularly popular topic. In fact, I will probably make some enemies just by putting this video out. However, I believe the consequences of sitting back and taking no action would be far more severe than to stand up for what I believe in. This country was founded on diversity and democracy. We all have our own opinions, and I apologize to any of my friends and colleagues. I mean no disrespect and offense for what I'm about to say. However, I believe it would be a huge mistake to let Trump be the man that runs our country. I'm not a particularly huge Hillary fan. She's all right. She's a career politician. She has a bunch of alliances and allegiances that I don't think make her particularly trustworthy, but she has experience. The truth is, if Hillary is elected, I don't think much will change in this country. Many things in this country need to be changed. Education reform, campaign finance reform, financial system reform, health care, social security, public transportation, transparency of credit card companies. I can think of a million other things that need changing in this country. The list goes on. We need to reform the banking system. The Federal Reserve System is ridiculous. But for the most part, our way of life will continue as it is now. If you enjoy the simple things about your life now, you should probably vote for Hillary. I'm not talking about if your life's perfect because I know it's not, no one's is. But Hillary is gonna do very little in terms of changing this country, which does suck. However, if Trump is to be elected, this threatens our very way of life. Granted, we live in this country and thank God for the checks and balances system. Because even if Trump gets elected, he has very little power. He can't do very much. That's just the office of the president. People think the president has all this amazing power and they don't. The one thing that the president does have control over is our military. The commander in chief can take us to war. Those of you who are 18 years old and want to be drafted, vote for Trump. War is a very real possibility if Trump gets elected. The thing is, Trump has no backbone. Nothing he says can be taken as true. If you're going to fact check, half of everything Trump says is just a lie. Everything. He uses rhetoric and speaks in a way that any person in Hollywood, as I am, knows that he's full of shit. He doesn't actually say any points. He's a bully. He's an egomaniac. He uses fear to control people. Is there anyone that this reminds you of? Hitler was an emotional speaker. Hitler captivated on people's fears to get them charged up emotionally and take action. We all know where that went. I consider myself a Republican. I don't think either party has the correct answer for every issue. But as it stands today, neither party has a great candidate for us to choose from. In a perfect world, we would have a JFK or a Reagan or somebody that is really passionate about people and helping people. They're not doing the job because they want to be president or because they think it's their turn. They're there because they are for the people. They want to make change. They want to improve our lives. Neither candidate is this person. However, we cannot allow this man to control our country. Sure, Trump's funny to watch. It's absurd the things he says. He's annoying and he makes himself an easy target. He's a joke and a bully. I mean, he's a shit show. He's a laughing stock. He's hilarious. He's absurd. He's absolutely ridiculous. 
So there's that whole entertainment aspect. In fact, I've played drinking games just laughing at how ridiculous his antics are. But this is no joke. He's running for the leader of the free world. This man cannot be in charge of our fate. Trump is against trade. How are we going to fix our national deficit if we stop trading with fellow nations? Trump wants to build a wall on the Mexican-American border that Mexico would pay for. There's no way that's gonna happen. It doesn't take a genius to spot Trump's bullshit. Yes, Hillary has issues, but there is only one person that can prevent Trump from taking power, and that's Hillary Clinton. Forget Hillary's issues. She's probably not gonna do much. I was a big proponent of Barack Obama, and guess what? He's done very little to help us, to change our way of life, to improve things in this country. Sure, there's Obamacare, which kind of sucks. It stinks. It's a step in the right direction, but we need still better health care in this country. And my best guess is that Hillary won't do much either. Things will stay the same. In this case, that is a good thing. I hope Hillary makes change. I bet she won't. But Trump will make change in the worst kind of way. Trump will make us a laughing stock to the rest of the world. He doesn't know how to make deals. He's a terrible businessman. He's declared bankruptcy more times than I care to count. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's used undocumented immigrant workers, and yet he claims that he doesn't want immigrants in this country. Immigrants help this country. If Trump did any of his own homework, and if you guys do your homework, you'd know that millions of undocumented immigrants actually pay into Social Security that they can never collect. However, that money's there for people that do collect it. They help our economy. They do jobs that no one else wants to do. I understand. You don't like Hillary and you don't like Trump. I don't like either of them either. But between the two, Hillary is going to ensure your life continues uninterrupted. You'll get to enjoy the same luxuries that you enjoy now. Trump threatens our way of life. Our country could see a third world war under Trump's rule. He has no experience. He's not a politician. He's a horrible businessman. Trump's claim to fame is that he got a million dollar loan from his dad that helped him a small $1 million loan. The truth is, if he would have invested that money instead of using it for his failed businesses, it would have been worth way more today than it is with Trump's leadership. Trump is a performer. He's a liar. He's a misogynist. He's racist. He's small-minded. He's a bully. He's easily triggered. We can't have a man running the free world that is that easily triggered. People, please wake up. Please don't sit around and think that voting doesn't matter. It does. I know one of the things that also needs reform is the electoral college process. It was put in place by slave owners that didn't want the people to have any real power. However, it's still the best system we have today. And to not exercise your power and your right to vote is being complacent and you're part of the problem. If Trump gets elected, things will get worse. Guaranteed. Please call me out. Write in the comments down below what you think, who you're going to vote for, and how I'm wrong. So tomorrow, Tuesday, November 8th, get out and vote. And I hope that you'll do the right thing and vote for Hillary. Please consider everything. Look at the facts. Trump brags about molesting women. Trump lies. Trump bullies. Trump declares bankruptcy. Our country is not headed for great things if Trump is elected president of the United States. 
I want you all to have everything you want. And I am pretty damn positive that Trump is not going to help you guys be happy. I'm here to try and save you from yourselves. I beg of you, I implore you, don't vote for Trump. Hillary, though with her problems, ensures that we will continue life as is. But the fact remains, Trump, he's only going to make things worse. I do believe not voting at all can be part of the problem, but not voting is better than voting for Trump. I know this may offend some of you, but if you're planning on voting for Trump, I urge you, stay home tomorrow. Don't go out and exercise your right to vote. Yeah, I said it. If you want to vote, please go out and vote for Hillary. Hillary's not against guns. For all of you that are gun supporters, Hillary has said very clearly she believes in guns. She's not against the right to bear arms. But Trump continues to harp on these points because he knows that people get angry about it. He knows he can control you. Please listen to the actual issues at hand. Don't be swayed or convinced by Trump's emotional bullshit. He says a lot of things that aren't true. I watched all three of the debates in their entirety. Constantly, Hillary would say she's in favor of something and Trump would say, I'm in favor of this unlike Hillary. That doesn't even make sense. We can't have that big of an idiot running our country. Either he's a liar or he's too stupid to hear what she just said. I don't know what's worse. Tomorrow could decide the next four years. Do we want four more years of life the way it's been or four years of our country sliding down the drain? Even for those of you that I fear are going to make a huge mistake tomorrow, I wish you the best. I wish no ill will towards any of you. I wish all of you happiness and love, a life filled with fulfillment. I urge you, don't believe me. Go out and do your own research. The truth speaks for itself. Google the video that came out in 2005 and listen to Trump and you tell me if that's a man of the caliber that deserves to run our country. The older people get, usually they become more set in their ways. The fact that people say, oh, 2005 was so many years ago, that's not an excuse. Trump went from being 60 to being 70. There's no way that any of the beliefs he expressed in that video have changed since then. Oh, it was just locker room talk. So you're telling me that he's the type of person that changes who he is around other people? He doesn't have the congruency and the courage to stand up for what he thinks is right. He does the cool thing. He gives in to peer pressure. Is this the man that we want running our country? There have been many times when I've been disgusted by the way some men and women talk. That doesn't mean that I play into it just to be cool. That doesn't mean that I try and speak that way to impress them when I don't believe those things. You stand up for what you believe in all the time, no matter how difficult or hard it may be, no matter how much people make fun of you, you stand up for what's right. Trump's also a billionaire. Those of you who say, oh, Hillary is gonna give tax cuts to billionaires, but Trump's gonna be for the people, I guarantee you, Trump is gonna give the biggest tax cut to all of his billionaire friends and none of you are gonna benefit from it. In fact, we will see probably the worst recession in history under Trump's leadership. Trump is a businessman and a poor one at that. When people offer him money, he's going to take it because he doesn't care about you. Trump cares about himself and he cares about money. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Hillary is worse because she lives with a man 
that once committed some adulterous acts. Excuse me, but Bill is not the one running for president. Bill actually did a really good job as president many years ago. For those of you that are old enough to remember, Bill Clinton actually had our country in a pretty good state of affairs. No pun intended. Hillary will probably be eight more years of Obama, eight more years of Clinton, at the worst. People say they support Trump because he is a bully and we need to start bullying around the rest of our nations. No one listens to bullies. Think about it. When you were on the schoolyard, did you do something because a bully told you to? No, you felt bad and you hated him and you wanted to get away from him. That's how Trump's gonna make our country. If you think that Trump will get things done because he can bully other nations around, that is ignorant. Grow up, please. I'm sorry for anyone that can't handle this, but <sighs> face the facts. If you don't know who to vote for tomorrow, vote for Hillary. Trust me, it's the better choice. If you think Trump is the better choice, then don't vote at all. You're doing me and the entire world a gigantic favor. Pick up a book, pick up a magazine. The world knows that Trump is a loser idiot. He is not going to lead our country anywhere but down the drain. Please trust me. Make no mistake, I'm not doing this because I love Hillary. I'm doing this because I love you. I can't sit back and watch you give him power. I can't sit back and let him take the reins of this country. I love all of you very much. I want the best for all of you. Neither Hillary or Trump is the best, but of the two, I promise you, Hillary will do better for you than Donald Trump. Here, in the 11th hour, it's not too late to do the right thing. It's not too late to make sure our country doesn't get worse you can still make a difference. Tomorrow is the election. I hope and pray that all of you come to your senses and do the right thing. For all of you outside of the United States, you have friends. Our greatest power is our numbers. We are strong together. Urge your American friends to vote for Hillary. Urge them to get out and vote at all. Discourage them from voting for Trump. I know how many of you out there recognize what a freaking idiot Trump is. I could use a lot more colorful terms, but we'll keep it PC on this video. We'll avoid stooping to Trump's level. Please, I urge you, get out and vote for Hillary, please. The eventual goal here is revolution. I don't like either candidate. We need to change everything. But until all of you out there are ready to revolt, are ready to stop taking the bullshit that our government gives us now, this is all we have. And we need to exercise what we have today until all of us are ready to stand up together and make change. Thank you very much for your time and for your caring attitudes. Thank you for your understanding. This is not something to just stand back and watch. This is not a time when taking no action is acceptable. Please, I don't want you in a year to look at the sad state that this country has slipped into and think, I should have voted for Hillary. I'm part of the problem. I have no one to blame but myself. Be proud 
of what you're going to do tomorrow. Be proud of taking a stand against the monster that is Donald Trump. Make America great again. I believe this country is great as it is. Yes, we have flaws, but I believe America is great. For him to say that we need to make this country great again, right from the beginning, already proves what a freaking idiot Donald Trump is. He's insulted our president. He said he won't acknowledge the results of the 2016 election if he doesn't win. He has encouraged Russia to cyber attack our country. This is not a good man. He's a bad sport. He's not a patriot. Please open your eyes and see the facts about Donald Trump. Let's keep America great and elect Hillary Clinton. That's it. I'm getting off my soapbox. Do your research. Get out and vote. There's a lot of other important issues tomorrow to vote for, but none more important than the president-elect. Thank you for your time. Happy voting.